comes to their higher representation. Mm -hmm. Link, definitely on that lower end of characters when it comes to who you have to worry about, but Delta Force really makes this a character to fear. Now, put that against one of the city's finest defenders in mm -hmm. Tilde. One of, if not the best Falco rep that we have in the States. One of New York, right now, New York's strongest soldier being that Zamba is away. And we gotta see how these two are gonna clash as we start things off on Smashville. There we go, all right. Big damage already starting out. Let's see if Tilde can find an opening here. Nice hiding that dash tag. Delta Force has been around a couple Falcos in his time. He knows the combos that are coming out, but even if you're expecting these combos, that's not gonna be enough to avoid all this damage coming on you right now. Of course, and to put credit where it's due for Tilde, he looks at targets of any skill level in any tournament, he rips them apart. He just looks at his path to victory. He don't care who's in the way. Everyone's combo food. Exactly, nobody is avoiding these bird hands. Oh, Delta trying to find the opening here with the bomb. Nice forward air to clash with that by Tilde. Using the forward air to stay away from that. Tilde trying to look at the stock, but you've got to be careful. Link at the ledge, even when he's off the ledge or standing on the ledge, is such a threat that like you could get scooped up by Ubi and die at 62%. Yeah, Spin Attack got that really wonky pickup that allows for reversals that Delta Force has taken stocks off the best of them before. But it's Tilde who's going to be opening up with first blood. Yeah, you can't get too comfortable with that downer until they're starting off big with the up smash. But Delta Force looking as clean as ever, almost finding that dash tag. Nice catching landing with the up tilt there too. He needs to find the stock here at the ledge. He goes with the downer. Amazing tech from Tilde. Oh, but now your disadvantage against Falco is going to be tough to come back from. Still plenty of damage to be able to be racked up here, even with Tilde having a bit of rage behind him. If Delta Force struggles to take the stock, the Link is in that weird spot where he can rack up damage so easily. Oh, yeah. But Bring your opponent to the ledge, all of a sudden they're too far from your sword to worry about, and Boomerang isn't that threatening. Bomb can only cover so much space. You gotta throw yourself in the line of fire, and you don't wanna do that at Tilde! Look at that! Oh no, definitely not. You definitely gotta take advantage of that sword and that nair. That nair being somewhat of a better distance than your sword, honestly. That nair, so good. Delta Force using that to stay away from Falco right now. That up even not going the right way, but still taking the stock. Good stuff for Delta Force evening up the stock count right now. <laughs> Tilda has not stopped being on the hunt. He's just trying to be all over this man, but Delta Force seeing that as an opportunity to rack up that damage. I love the simple jabs, followed by the forward tilt just to extend this damage. And oh my god! He's trying to get greedy with it, too. He went for it all. That's what you gotta do in a bracket like this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Delta was going crazy. That up tilt the back of the try to do Falco Classic. He's still not going to take it, though. Nice bomb recovery there. Landing safely with the Nair, trying to find the tech chase. Unfortunately, missing that down tilt. Delta was trying to find an opening here. Nice up he had a shield that's not going to take it. Now he got bomb at ledge. There's that huge reflector there. Oh, let's see if Delta comes out here with the bomb. And wait for the air dodge. Oh. The high up side beat from Tilde is such a good decision because you see Delta Force trying to modulate the space that he controls with bomb. But. The bomb can't bounce that high. It's too big of a commitment from Delta Force, and Link's movement options aren't that great for covering a vertical space. It's a free flying zone for Tilde. Oh yeah, definitely. This bird is moving around at the speed of sound. Oh my the gosh. Jump spot dodge to avoid the bomb pressure. He's like he's playing. He's pushing the gas entirely, but still, he's a, his awareness of these, all these options throughout Delta Force is absolutely insane. He tries to catch the side view with the bomb, just barely missing it. Both these players are almost above 150 percent. Literally any both for either player, and that bomb is going to do it. Delta Force now in the stock lead. Amazing lead to be in. Link, another character that can really survive on a stock and whittle in that damage bit by bit. Oh. But if you're bereft of resources to return to the stage, a lead like that means nothing. Putting Tilde once again on even ground. And <laughs> oh. I love the utilization of the bombs in the combos. Just trying to not only take it as a resource away from Delta Force, but use it to extend your own already marvelous combo play. Yeah, exactly. Delta is not just worrying about, like, staying away from Delta Force instead using his own tools against him, right? Like, hey, I know you have your, your set uh, flowchart in your head, but if I take your bomb and throw it at you, what are you going to do now? you, you got to deal with things. you got to deal with Falco and your own flowchart against you. Uh, you've got everything coming at you. And then up throw to back air is not going to take a totally it's such amazing spot. Ooh, that's so scary. you got to be careful here. Excellent DI from Delta Force, oh. but then Aaron's oh. air dodge puts him in danger. Deep from the ledge, he does bring himself back, but popped up from the up tilt. Juggle situations are so deadly against Falco, especially when you consider that you don't have the strongest of buttons for landing on Falco. If you don't want to do that, you miss position, you get eaten alive. Game goes to Tilden.
amazing stuff from Tilde for game one. Delta Force showing that he's definitely able to uh, deal with this Falco pressure, right? Like he's using that Nair really well, that utilization of Bomb, trying to stay away from Falco and like keep him on his toes. But you've got to remember that Falco, like his, the speed of this character, his air drift and his jump height is so good for getting away from those traps. So Delta Force can never get comfortable in his flow charts knowing that Falco can really just jump away. He's still a bird at the end of the day. He can literally just fly away and play his own game. Momo, I'm really glad you brought up the concept of speed because I feel like this is a matchup that's really going to test the patience of Delta Force, where Link doesn't have the swiftest of buttons or the best of movement options. The honest is on him to try to slow the match down to a comfort zone for Link to be able to control both aggressively and defensively. And while Tilde is able to respond in turn because he has plenty of experience with playing against more defensively oriented players, Link is a very difficult character to deal with when he sets the tempo of the action. Oh yeah, easily. I mean, we already saw that 77% coming from Delta Force when he had his own combos and his high set for his big damage. But Tilde fighting right back to the up throw and the up air. You can never, like, you have your openings against Tilde. And then he kind of just goes in and he's like, okay, I'm going to grab you once and I'm going to do 107%. And you just have to deal with that. Like, this is Falco. You, you have to just realize that I don't care about your combo. Like, do all the damage you want. As long as you don't close the socket, I'm fine. But Delta Force looking, he wants to close out. Oh, just barely messing up that down smash. That's unfortunate. So if he can stay alive here. No tech on the Nair. Just, whoo, what is that? Well, that was a whole lot of funkiness going on at the ledge between Uppies colliding, everyone's getting hit. It was Delta Force who was put in the worst position of it. And a very interesting outcome when you consider how the first minute or so of action has gone entirely to Delta Force's favor because like, Link's tools are able to control Kalos so well, just not only dragging along Falco where Delta Force decides, but also the fact that there's so much space that you have to commit to your movement, it's a lot easier to react to. Oh my gosh. What a combo for Tilde. He's pushing the down air. There we go. Finally, the punish on the up B. Tilde is moving right now. Moving. Hey, listen, once you get this man in the comfort zone, very few can stop him. This is this is a one scary bird, I tell you that. What a oh okay. He tries to get a little fancy with the wall jump there. Still not gonna die for that, but getting caught with the up tilt, yeah. Getting a, a little too lost in the sauce. Delta Force is like, okay, I gotta bring you back down to earth, buddy. I I, I know you think your com Falco combos are crazy, but like, you still gotta deal with the Delta Force right now, like I am. This bomb trading place is so awful too. It's literally hot potato, for real. Oh. He, Delta Force trying to land with that down air time and time again. Tilde is constantly punishing it. That's not going to work. you got to find a new way to find your openings against Tilde because he's putting stop to that literally every time. Uh-oh. You have to It's crazy. Oh, no. Nice catching the air dodge there. The Nair really is, is the be-all, end-all for Delta Force when it comes to dealing in with just close-range pressure from Tilde. You don't have any better options for contesting him coming down on you. And if Tilde lands his down air, there's Ooh. so much to be guarded with it. Whether it's a kill or if it's a combo. Oh yeah, easily. I mean, Tilde is so good of having his awareness of his options, knowing exactly where Delta Force is going to go. I'm not even find that asshole. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Yo, fair one doing the least it could. Oh my That's gosh. tough. That's definitely tough. Tilde, I have Delta Force at 164%. Max Rage on this link. You've got to be careful here. He's literally looking for that down. Literally, anything will take us right now. Nice call with the up smash, though. Max Rage up smash is going to do it. And now Delta Force, even if the stock count, but... Oh, okay. yeah. I, gonna, mm, I couldn't even finish my sentence. My, my bad, Tilde. Sorry there, about that. There are characters where you can safely have time on a stage like Kalos to decide what you want to do with your options. Mm -hmm. Falco is not one of those characters. I'm not keeping a stack. I did not need a replay of that. That was yucky the first time. It's even yuckier the second. This was just like... Numbies really decided to give us a, a third serving of this. You know Mortal Kombat, like, test your luck. This is like, <laughs> test your DI, test your tech. <laughs> Can you pull through? This is master difficulty. And he failed the vibe check. That's unfortunate. Now we're going to game three, though. Kalos again? Okay. I, I think it's not a bad choice. I, I feel like in the beginning of game two, Delta Force played out the stage fantastically. And all things considered, it's a good stage for Link. There's a lot of aerial space for him to contest. Tons of very empty lateral space for him to be able to drag his combos along and operate in space where Falco's not going to be as comfortable. The ledge play has been less conducive to an overall game plan for Link, but I feel like that's more to the credit of Tilde as a good player than it is to a poor decision. I think Delta Force, when he tightens up his play, can really 
They force Tilde out of the air. Oh my god, the triple downer, he's still going! 18%. The hardest thing about this, too, is that Delta Force really excels at the ledge normally, but Falco's Reflector, that huge disjoint, just stops him from getting anything set up because he's going to just say, no, no, get that out of here. Push this, this big hexagon in your face, and, and now suddenly the ledge is mine. Like, Tilt is aware of his options, it's just so amazing. Oh, that, that sucks. That's tough. That is absolutely tough. So they once again going into the lead here. Delta Force is trying to find something to start this up, but just like, again, it's Falco. You have no time to think. He's just in your face doing 59% while you're trying to process a thought. I can't process a thought right now. This is insane. You know, the worst part about it all is it's not even just the damage that Tilde manages to rack up along these combos. It really is the stage position. Because stock after stock between last game and this game, things go haywire for Delta Force the moment the battle takes itself to the ledge and to the platforms. And that's exactly where Tilde's pillar combos are going to be ending. Oh, exactly. I mean, Delta Force trying to catch him through the platform. That forward air is going to do it. Even though the stock count, once again, it's just the hardest thing for Delta Force right now, starting these stocks, is just finding his positioning. This could be the huge positioning that he needs right now until he lands on how Oh, get to the platform right He's still fine. Catching that down there. It's not going to yeah. spike, but you're still dead. Yeah. Bereft of a jump and a bomb way off course. Mm -hmm. It was going to be extremely difficult for Delta Force to make that back, if he even possibly could have. But regardless, Delta Force on tournament life right now. Tilde in the driver's seat and honestly looking like he doesn't have a care in the world. He's just been able to pressure out so effectively, starting up his combos, whether it's down tilt, an errant down air, grabs. Like, Tilde's just getting it done like it's another day in the office. Tilde, like, not even worrying about these uh, disjoint things thrown out by Delta Force. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. And they're coming through. Not since, oh my gosh, we got back here. You're talking about the left play from Delta Force. This could be what he needs. The reverse up and there we go. We're back in this game. The hero has been closing now. We are in last stock situation for both of these players. Oh, oh, no. You had to go and say something. I'm sorry. You I'm had to go and commentate I'm sorry, the game. Delta. Why'd I'm, you commentate? Oh, my gosh. My boy. Look what they did to my boy. That's unfortunate. They really no went words. and put the cement shoes on Link. No, dude. That works so well there, I hate it. <laughs> oh. I yeah, mean, no, uh, mm. don't get me wrong. Tilde had played out this set fantastically. It really made this a struggle for Delta Force. But he was fighting it back. But that ending, that's a that's, heartbreaker. That's so unfortunate. I mean, like... It's like, oh, like I got a little bit of the NJ eyes in me. He finds that reverse. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm like, we're about to go in. Reverse hero spin. It's that little ray of hope that comes out once you see spin attack come up, get the sure fire hit that's going to end out that stock. There it goes. Bam. And just in that moment, you think, all right. It's time. He can Delta do Force it. Force could do this. He's got this. Oh, it's time. And He's then, going. And He's going. He's gone. Joining Suarez and getting seventh That's to defend the North 2022. Wow. Truly a sad way to see it, but still, hard fought and all things considered, well earned to make it into the top eight of this tournament. Oh, definitely.